All right, welcome back finally to another Affinity Photo tutorial. I've been gone for a little while. Life kind of gets in the way sometimes, but I wanted to come up with something a little bit different for you. So we've done 3D text before. This is a little spin on that so that we can make it uh, circular and we can also occlude it behind a subject. So this is what we're going to be creating here. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's start off with a new document and we'll go 1920 by 1080. Shrink that down a little bit. First thing we need to do is create our background. So we'll create a blank pixel layer and come over to our gradient tool. And we're just going to drag out from the center. This is the new version of Affinity. It's 2.6. Things are a little different in this. I, I'm just now getting used to it. So you can't just double click on these nodes up here to change the color. You actually have to come down here. So we'll go ahead and make this a dark blue. And then we'll come over to this one. Make it a somewhat lighter blue, close that, <clears throat> and we'll change it to a radial gradient. So now we need to bring in our subject. So we'll go to File and Place, and I've got this caricature of me. It's not even much of a caricature anymore. It's all I do is work. Not a lot of time to play. We'll go ahead and drag that up, put it around the center of the picture there, and we're going to drag in a, uh, a guide and put it in the center as well. All right, so now we're going to start creating our text. And what we need to do is first, we need to create a path for our text to follow. So we're going to come over here to the ellipse tool. We're going to make sure that our fill is, now we'll leave it for white for now so we can see what we're doing. We're going to come into the center of our picture. We're going to hold Command and Shift and drag it out so we get a nice symmetrical circle. And uh, right now, we'll go ahead and turn the fill off. Let's come over to our artistic text tool and we're just going to hover over the edge of the uh, path here and click and we're going to change our text size let's bring it up to 96 for now so we can see what we're doing or change the text over to something big and chunky i'm going to go with a basement grotesque and finally i'm going to change the color of the text to white and we're going to type in training is fun yeah. All right. And then while we have that selected, let's select that text. And we're going to space that out a little bit by using the option and the right arrow key. And we're just going to space that out. So we get about where we can read all the letters pretty evenly and it creates a semicircle there. So we can take this little green handle here and rotate it. And so now we've got that taking up about 180 degrees. So now we need to create the same text, but on the top. So what we'll do is we'll right click on this layer and duplicate it. And then with the text tool selected again, we're just going to take this little green handle, bring it around to this side. So now we've got it on top there. Now the problem with that is that it's on the outside of the path as opposed to the inside of the path. So a little bit of space in there. But if you look at your selection box here, there's a, a control point in each corner, but there's an extra control point down here in the bottom left uh, right hand corner. So if we just take that and hold down command, we can make it the same diameter as the other one. It does shrink the text down a little bit. So now what we can do is we can highlight this text, come over to our font size here, and then just bring it up a little bit until it matches our other one. We can also rotate it a little bit, and we can go ahead and grab it again here and make the text a little bit bigger. All right, we've got that. And then we can also drag it a little bit and then finally rotate it into place. All right, so we have our text now. So now what we need to do is group these two layers together. So we're going to hold down Shift and Group. And then we're also going to rasterize and trim those. So now that they're all on one layer, we can go ahead and start distorting them to create our orbit effect. And to do this, it's really easy. You just grab the bottom handle, bring it up, grab the top handle, bring it down, 
kind of place it where you want it. So you've got some of the letters are going to be disappearing behind the back. So we've got it where we want it. Let's go ahead and add a layer effect to this. And the first thing we're going to do is add an outline. And we don't need to go crazy with the outline on this one. Let's go with like 0.2 pixels on that. And now we're going to do the extrusion part to create our 3D effect. So to do that, we're going to just make sure that our Move tool is selected here. We're going to hit Enter on the keyboard to bring up our Move Duplicate tool. And we're going to click the Duplicate box. We need to make sure that the insertion mode is to insert the new items behind this layer. And then we're going to take our vertical position and change it by one pixel. And then increase our number of copies as deep as we want. So we'll go with like, let's go with 65. That's good for now. And we're going to click OK. So now we want to change the color of the very top layer. Okay, so it sits out a little bit better. So that's why we put all these other ones behind it. This one's already selected. Let's go back into its layer effect. And we'll go with a color overlay. And let's change this to a red. That looks pretty good like that. And if we want, we can also give it a little bit of a bevel and emboss. We'll go with emboss. Let's split the depth and the radius. Let's bring the radius down a little bit. So it has a little bit of bump to it. That looks good right about there. So our top layer is done. Now, if you looked at our other example there, over here, the, uh, the extruded part is transparent and it's got a glow. So let's go back and fix that. So let's grab the everything below the top text layer. Grab that, come down, select the last one with shift. We're going to group those together. And now that we've got those grouped, we need to rasterize and trim those as well. And we'll come into layer effects. So first thing let's do, let's go ahead and add our glow. We're going to add an outer glow. And let's turn the radius up pretty high on that one. And then all we need to do to make them transparent and keep the glow is come down here to the fill opacity. And we can turn that down to whatever we want. So I just want it so that I can see through the extrusion. So I can see like, you know, the shorts and the leg here. And that looks good right there. So now that we have that done, what we need to do is group these two layers together so that they function as one. And then we'll right click, rasterize and trim. And so now well, all we need to do now is get rid of what we're looking at here so that it looks like it's behind the subject. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, you can select your subject and then make this hot and just erase it. Problem is with that, if you want to change something later on, you destroyed your text and you have to start over. So we're just going to go ahead and use a layer mask for this. So we're going to click on layer mask and then we're going to get our paintbrush tool. Make sure we're painting with black. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And uh, my brush is pretty small, so I'm going to increase the size of my brush. We're just going to start painting. And it's OK if you go over and take off too much because you can always go back and paint in the opposite color, which is probably what we're going to do here. We're just trying to roughen this out right now. And we're going to change the size of our brush accordingly until we get it all painted out the way that we want it. You can see I got a little bit too much there, but that's the beauty of the layer mask is now we can come change our color. Let's do this down. We can change our color to white and clean up our little bit of a mess here. So, and you can spend as much time on that as you want. But uh, yeah, there you go. Pretty simple effect and you know good production value. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done one. I'm a little rusty, but if you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to the channel. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.